Hello everybody, welcome back to Dinnercraft today. We got a problem. Um I was AFK all night. I don't know what happened. I don't know how this happened. I don't know what happened, but they're zombies now, so we gotta brew up a couple weakness potions. A lot. Actually, I think we already have one. Those are my fire resistance potions. Uh, let me plop those in here. But we need a weakness potion. So I think that's a fermented spider eye. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. So we also need a golden apple. So take three of these. And. Hmm. Was it? So fermented spider eye is sugar, the spider eye itself, and then it's something else. Ah, uh, hmm. I don't even remember. All right, uh, we'll do that later because we've got we got enough iron for the time being, so we can do that later. Anyway, so one thing that we should do though work on the other house over in this direct or actually we gotta finish the bridge too but we're gonna work on the second house over in this area so that's gonna be pushed up right here and I think I want to make kind of like is that snow does it snow up there that's wacky anyway so I want to make it kind of like a um, tall tower and then have an airship docking area so that's what we're gonna go for today so from Vale's challenge, we have picked up quite a large amount of wood. Uh, yeah, so we still have a ton of wood here. So we're going to take these two because I think this one's, yeah, a little bit of the oak. So let's drop off our ingots. Uh, I guess our golden apples can go in there for the time being. And then for some reason, we've got gravel on us, which I don't know why. And a bottle, probably from the honey. So put that in there. Also, we gotta check our honey thing because that bee's been at work for over 24 hours unless we haven't been loading the chunks. So we should probably see how he's been doing. And also probably give a touch up to this area. It seems that we've run out of bottles. So due to that, we're gonna make a ton of honey blocks. Redispense these. And, all right, we have to give this a tick, so. All right, now I don't want to piss the bee off. So, to give it a tick, I think what I'm going to do is, since it's back here, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to break this, put it back. And I should have dispensed it. Yep, all right, cool, we're good. All right, now we have 12 more slime block, or honey blocks. Oh, the sound is so weird. I love it. That is 21 honey blocks, along with a couple bottles. Let's head over to another farm that's been running for over 24 hours, the bamboo farm. And let's see what we've collected in there, because that thing's been running for quite some time. There's got to be a lot of stuff in there. Actually, it hasn't filled up. Uh, I think we have a hopper that's... Oh, no, they're all placed correctly, I think. Unless I'm getting, like... Oh, yeah, they're all hooked up correctly. Just all of it's flowing into these. You would think it'd be producing more, but I guess not. All right, well, we'll take this batch right here. No, I don't even know if we have a craft. We have a craft enable in here. Yeah. All right, so we're going to make... About... Yeah, that seems about right. Let's make all that into uh, scaffolding, so... There we go, put that in there, and we got a stack in 17 for our scaffolding, and I still haven't finished the one little project site on this roof, so that's something we'll have to do later, but we don't do that now. Instead, we work on another house, so let's start getting a foundation down for this and clear a little bit of land. <clears throat> I 
Now, where can I acquire all my stone from? There's very little bits of stone scattered all around here. Uh, hmm. Do we really not have any stone? That's weird. Usually I've always got stone. I don't know, what's in the shulker box? Alright, there's some in there, it's not a lot at all. We have cobblestone and a site too. That's something. We could also use the gravel too. Other than that, that's all we really need. <coughs> So let's go up here, and I guess we can start just kind of moving around the area and see what we can do. Uh, let's get a base down for this thing. That? Let's go a little bit bigger, like right here, that seems like a good size. Yeah, that's a good size. So then we'll go down to here. Is that square? Wait, hold on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So now we take these. So actually, I want them. So I want it to be like this again. We need to go one more out. And it's the same for the other side too. Because then we're able to connect this up. Sorry, wheat. And then our thing comes in here, so it would be here and then it would connect up right there and then continue onward to there all right good so that's the layout that we have of this so it's the bottom portion stoned up and then we can start on actually making the wall itself So first start to the second home. I don't think it looks too bad as of right now. So that's good to know. Um, obviously we're going to be doing our leaf touch to it. And don't worry, this bottom wall is not 
forever, nor is it going to stay like that. So this one's looking actually really good. So <laughs> I like what I did with the roof style here. Now I kind of went out and then over one. So it kind of gives it this nice, oh, it's poking out look, which is nice. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to continue upward on this and we might have a breaking point in the center where it kind of goes off into its own separate tower. Possibly something like that. Otherwise, we'll just keep it going up just a little bit more and then end it off with a um, A-frame roof. So... Hmm. Trying to think of what else we could do with this. I'm not really digging where this window is going to be, so I think I might actually bring out the logs a little bit, make it a little bit more rounder, and then we can put in the window. And then we can continue upward. But how it's looking right now, I'm not a big fan of just it being square when everything else is more... When it has it more shape. So everything has more shape, like on the edges and all that, and then this is just square. So I think bringing out the logs just one bit will actually allow this to look a little bit better. And then we just add a um, simple from the top, bring it in a little bit more, and then we can continue our way up. But I like the roof better than I did with these ones, where it was, that is really viney. But I like what I did better over here, where it has the pop-out roof, instead of over here, where it has just the simple, just going up and then block, and then up and then block. I mean, yeah, it looks good, but I think that this one looks a little bit better. So we'll probably end up doing that. Might make like a couple balconies out the side, kind of like what I have up here but maybe covered? I'm not sure. Uh, we'll probably play around a little bit with it. We might add a water wheel or something even though there's no water. Actually, let's save the water wheel for something maybe back here. I mean, maybe we could even put like a crane or something on top, make it look like it's being constructed. That could look interesting. Uh, definitely a unique approach to this, so possibly. Other than that, I think it looks good. So I'm, I am kind of liking the crane idea that I just came up with. Like have a um, crane up at the top and then have it carrying a little bit of logs. I think that that could be a pretty cool idea. Unless I want to save it for another building, like somewhere in this field right here where it's covering up the industrial area. I'm not sure what I want to do. Also, the stump is looking really out of place. <laughs> Compared to these stone structures here. It's just kind of there, and then, I mean, you got the trading hall. Yeah, but well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Go turn into a rock. So, yeah, I think the crane idea might be the go here. Plus, we could use the scaffolding and building, and I think that would look kind of nice. So, let's get on with building again. Okay, look at this place. Now this is coming along well. So I like what I did here with the um, roof, adding a little frame to it there. So we come out the back. I guess that's the side since the door is right there, but that's not going to be the door. Now I think I'm going to do the same thing on the back, just because of how good it looks on the front. Plus this is... Actually, everyone's going to be entering from the portal, so it only really matters what's on the front. Which is 
pretty much the exact reason for this because no one ever comes in from the back. Plus, we're going to be making a mock mountain right here. Just kind of going upward. It's not going to be real. It's going to be completely hollow. It's probably not even going to have a back to it because no one comes that way. So, it's going to be kind of like those things that you see at um, theme parks to divide uh, themes of areas. Anyway, so this place is looking really nice. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break on it because I don't want to get run down just by working on it for so long. I've worked on it for about an hour now, so I think that's a good amount of time to spend on that for today. Probably will pick up on it a little bit later today, but for right now, I want to focus a little bit more on the farming area because we're going to make a sugarcane farm right in this area over here. And luckily we have the materials to do that, so let's go make something that's way more efficient than this. This thing has served us well, but sadly we're going to put another house here. And we're going to make just a larger scale sugarcane farm, possibly with a flying machine, as that just saves us on observers and pistons and any type of redstone component. So we're going to get kind of advanced with this one. I'll see you over there. So here we have a little bit of farming material. So the farm's gonna start, probably we're gonna give this area about three blocks of space to walk through. One, two, three, four. We'll give four there and then we can start it about right here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's see, so. I'll be 10 across and then we're going to do the old design of the farm so that it's just simpler because I couldn't do flying machines that would be too much of a loss and I actually didn't make any pistons because I just sacrificed it all on observers so anyway this will be the ending wall here these will be what are going to hold our redstone so let's make a model right now Let's get rid of the grass. So it'll be observer will go where? It could go right here. So it would be like this. So we take this out, have it facing downward. Or no, we would have it facing upward because this is what takes in the signal. So upward. And then it would be the, oh no, because I would send off a continuous loop. Okay, that would not be good. And so maybe we can have it, I guess just like this, wrong way. I guess this would be the best way to actually put it. Also, I don't know if we have a bed around here. I hope we do, I don't see it. I think I prob oh, I took it all the way to the, um, when I was getting dirt. Um, ooh. Yeah, we don't have a bed around here. All right, we gotta get a bed around here now. Cause that area isn't safe and we haven't done anything to light it off. So we're going to do that and then bed. So let's just do a little bit of a planning and we'll see if we can come up with anything that should at least give us the most efficient design of the farm. So this is the design that I came up with. It's just, oh, oh, not that. It's just kind of this. And then we remove the stone in here. And you can kind of see what I'm going for with this. And then there would be pistons in here, water stream down here, bringing all the stuff over. Yippee, there you go. So that's my idea for it. Now, it would be loss, it would have losses in it. So my way to combat that is we're gonna have a minecart running down through these two areas and it's gonna run in a stopping station where I'm gonna make a stopping mechanism where it's probably just gonna be like a rail turning off and then yeah, whoop-de-doo, it's off, so cool. Anyway, so 
We need water for this to actually function as a sugar cane farm, so I brought my iron blocks over. This will make us some buckets. We need just two in order to capture the water. Could have made one, but um, we've got a lot of iron. We don't really fear losing much. So, water there. Water here. It should bring us, yep, right around here. Where our... I guess we could put in an ice block, right? So two ice blocks right here have it slide over. Because this thing is expandable all the way down. Doesn't matter how far you want to go with it. So cool. Anyway. So now we're going to come down here. And we're just going to dig out a small area right here. So our... Let's see. So a little bit further down to here. So that's going to be for the uh, minecarts. So the minecart will go down through here, and then through here. And I'll just kind of run around down at the bottom where we'll eventually make its depart. Ah, I don't even know where. So we do this. And I suppose now we should get the minecarts and the rails, so I've got a little bit of it stocked up in here, but we're probably going to have to make a little more. And once again, thanks to Vale's challenge, it becomes no problem to me. The farm works. So here's what we have laid out in front of us. So say we drop something over here. So sugarcane falls on here. All right, cool. Minecart's going to pick it up and it's going to go to this docking station. The docking station just uses this hopper because items are in the hopper. And then that just turns off a redstone torch. It turns off the repeater. And that turns off the rail. So then when stuff is not on there, it will stay here. And then when stuff is there, it's going to just put it in here. And it won't leave until all the items are put in because the hopper is the only thing with the output. And that's being off with the block and the, yeah. So <laughs> it's not a hard contraption by any means. So we just fell down here. We need scaffolding and I didn't bring any. So let's head up. And this is what we've got now. So. All we really need to do is just cover up the components here. Actually, this one needs to be cobblestone. So let's cover up the components with our dirt and grass. And then this is pretty much it done. It's very wasteful on the hopper side. Yeah, I'm aware of that, but I had really no other way to get it in there except because if I put it all the way over here it would just flow to here I wouldn't get that and I could just make it shorter and safe but with how I want to make it it kind of needs to be long and I could have just broken it up into different sections but you win some you lose some I guess uh, anyway so this is the thing so I guess the last thing that we need to do is actually make the farm surrounding it or not the farm, the actual like building which is encasing it. So that's going to be made of stone bricks, but I think I'll do that next episode. Let me just get a rough area of where this will be. About like that. Probably a little bit longer than that. It's also going to have multiple floors to it. So instead of the hoppers, it's probably going to have a drop down system where it's going to drop down into a water stream like this. Or if there's another one over there. That's concerning. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And also, I hope you like it when I have more time to make these episodes. I had two days to make this uh, balancing work and all that. Uh, running work, just all that stuff. So this is just kind of how the videos are going to be. They're going to be me doing more things in them. So... We're going to make more modules of this. I don't know if I'll do that off camera, on camera, whatever I'll do. And then we'll definitely build the factory building on camera. But anyway, that's all for today's episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Tell me what you think. Um, 
I'll release an upload schedule sooner or later. Anyway, goodbye everyone.